Hey everybody, in the last episode, I started this series off probably way too casually. I was just talking about Donkey Kong for some reason. I mean, it's okay to maybe do that. I mean, I kind of want to be casual about things, not make things too dramatic, but that's probably going a little too far. Okay, so apparently that power-up is... It makes you immune to Krakow's electrosis... <coughs> electricity. <laughs> and, uh, you can bust through enemies. I wonder what we can do. Oh, it looks good. And, oh, not good for the par. This is going faster than <laughs> how it was in part one. I guess I'm more used to it now, but we'll see. What's going on in this board? Okay, I see. We need to use his power. Maybe we shouldn't go too far. Oh, wait, I should have done the quick turn. Like this. Dun, 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 dun. Let's get a lot of backspin on it, I guess. Yeah, that goes. actually push us any further. Yeah, that didn't help. Maybe I should have just gone for... Uh, hold on a second. Ugh. Maybe I should have just gone for a, a straight push rather than uh, try to jumping that. I don't know, because that... Trying to figure out what to do with that hill, like how much power to put in, and if you put in too much power, maybe you'll bet get sent over the edge. I'm just gonna do whatever here. I don't know what I'm doing. Woo! Okay. And then... If I just go there and go backwards, that's not going to do anything. Okay, let's do that. See how what that does for us. I don't know. Oh, that didn't help. Well, at least we have a straight line. I don't think we're going to get through this without losing a life, but hopefully we can lose them later rather than sooner. Okay, 
so obviously things on the top fall down. Oh, that's not gonna get us there. What? Ah. Uh, maybe it was because of the rough ground there. I mean, the, not just what happened there, I mean earlier. Yeah, too bad we could have, uh, <laughs> built back our health up a bit. I wonder if this is affected by how fast you're going, the, the wheel the power-up, that is. I mean... We just have to not put in it. We put in just under the max. Okay. Whoops, that wasn't what I intended to do. I might be screwed here. I guess I can see what uh, just going straight off of the rough ground is going to do. I'll just go for full power. Okay. And we can just call that a learning experience. Oh, I probably shouldn't have used the wheelie power up. At this rate, I don't think I'm going to uh, be able to... See, I thought that would have been a good shot earlier. I don't think I'm going to be able to get through World 2 without game overing. At least we made it eventually. It was a nice shot, even if it's way too many. Way too many shots. I don't know, I guess we only have three more. These don't take very long, so... Okay, do we have a reason to take that warp? Because if the only reason we'd want to take that warp to exit out of that warp is, I guess if we make the hole appear right there, so we kill this guy, we probably jump over that sand and run into him, and then use that to aim down here, or we go down through the warp, that takes us down through here, I don't know. doesn't seem like there's really a... We had the wheelie before. This is probably expecting us to have the wheelie. Yeah, we used the wheelie to get past the sand trap. Hit the uh, umbrella. Uh, maybe the wheelie makes us jump off of that platform so we hit that guy. Or at least we get close enough that we can use the umbrella and then go around and hit the pumpkin and uh, that guy. Caboose or whatever. <laughs> so we don't have that option. Well, that wasn't 
great. That wasn't great at all. Okay, what can we do here? Just go crazy. Oh, that didn't hit him. I thought that would have hit him. At least we can get a caboose. Or a caboo. So, are we going to try to... You know, if we get the warp, well, we'll have to... We're kind of screwed either way. We can try to hit him, and then the warp will appear here. That is to say that the hole... Or we can try to use the warp again to hit him. We should probably try to hit him so we actually get a power-up. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to see where this takes us. Like, see if this keeps our momentum going enough that we can at least make some headway through that. That. Which we actually did, surprisingly enough. Ooh. Not bad. Could have been worse. Okay, I think not pressing any... Maybe I should do a tiny little bit. Oh, fiddlesticks. But at least this time, we can just hit a tiny little bit. And it should work. So at least now we have full life, and uh, uh, we have one life, and we have full health. Unfortunately, we didn't get to keep that power up. It's probably what they wanted us to have right here, in order to deal with... Wait, what's going on here? Where's he going? Does he ever go all the way around? He only does that. Okay, we'll do that. So we don't go too far. Okay. What? That, ki that kills you? I thought it just lowered your health. Sucks. What? see what doing full here does, because it doesn't take you to... Okay. So you do go a little past it. Oops. I want to 
let's see how what we can do. Even if we can't win, at least we can, uh... Wow, 15 minutes already? I thought I was going through this quicker than the other one. <laughs> In that case, let's just go full power and... Yeah. Hmm. I don't think that helped any. That was sweet. Okay, let's care a little more about this one. Okay, so if we go there, and that's gonna that's probably gonna send us into the Gordo. Maybe we should just try to turn those off. So if I go here, oops, that might work actually, at least it worked pretty well, shouldn't be any surprises anyway, compared to just leaving those things spinning. Whoa, was that a hole in one? Just in case. Finally. I feel like that sort of happened a lot. Oh, we even got a one-up? No wonder this game's kinda hard. It's because you actually get that balances out by getting holes in ones. Let's see if we can do that again. Maybe you, maybe you can't get holes in ones in all of them, because I don't know how else you would do this, because you have to get the one that's straight here, and then you also have to get those two. At the very least, I don't think we're going to mess up like we did last time. Okay, let's see what something into the water does. Too bad that stops you right there and then. Otherwise, uh, that might have been enough to push us at the angle to get us closer to the hole, if not in the hole. What am I even doing? In theory, that should get us there. I don't know how, I don't know how it's going to work with the hill. Okay. Sticks. That's okay. I think with that's close enough. Maybe not. Uh, I feel like maybe it isn't. Oh, good, it is. But 
bump, bump. And we keep the wheelie power up, so maybe we can actually do... I kind of, I kind of had... When I was describing what we needed to do here, I was kind of imagining I probably would need to do it in the future. That's kind of why I bothered to go over it. Uh, so let's do it. Uh, wrong way. Not bad. It would have been so nice if we got it in, though. Maybe we'll get under 26 minutes, which is what it was last time. If we can get these two. Okay, so if we can do that, we can get back turn, uh, back spin, rather. Mm, maybe not. Last time was a good enough plan, but it went backwards. I mean, it backfired. <laughs> Let's see, what was I thinking with that exactly? I think this actually is the way to do it, we just don't want to mess it up. So do I put in less power? I think I put in too little power, and that caused us to hit the ground, the flat ground, and then we bounce above the hill. Of course, we have the, uh, the parasol right now, so that wouldn't be as much of an issue, because, well, I don't know if it stops Kirby on a hill or if he's going to fall down it again, but I don't think he will, so we do have a safety net. Um, so yeah, let's just go for full power. And I'm also a little nervous, because uh, maybe I meant to do some backspin. Uh-oh. Okay, yeah, he does fall all the way down. I might be thinking of stone, or uh, the spindle. Okay, let's not do that again. We're just gonna do it like this. hope that we don't hit the Gordo. how much that pushes us. I think we have to put in a little bit of power. Hopefully I can actually pull that off. Ugh. Oh, that didn't help at all. What? Ah, this is the classic one. Okay, so we use the vents. Do we go up here? Yeah, we don't want the hole to appear up there. That would be complicated. We want it to appear right here. So we jump. Do we use backspin or forward spin? I think we use forward spin, actually, if anything. Oh. I, uh, underestim underestimated how far that would put us. I guess that's good to know for future reference. Uh, 
that didn't help. Yeah, let's just do it like that and not rely on the vents. Well, let's see what kind of abysmal score that was. Huh. Got that nice hole in one. So there's that. But seven. Seven on seven. Bomberman got the highest score last time, but this time it's the bomb. And I think I got the same score as last time, too. Because it was 10 above the first place before. Yeah, there's Meta Knight at the bottom for some reason. And then there's Bomberman in 2, but the bomb is in number 1. So we, we don't even see rank 1 for some reason. I don't know. Round 2 round two again. I don't understand those numbers. Is it how many times it took you to do it? Because I failed once and then I got two. And it, that was the same for World 1 and for World 2. So did it take Bomberman there nine rounds to get a score of 23 and it took Meta Knight 14 times to get 35? Is that what's going on? And for me it took two times to get 29? I'm not sure. That's the only thing I can think, though. Why it would be the same number, but I think those other numbers are different. In any case, course three is going to be the next episode. I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to do a full course in every episode every time. That seems maybe a little unlikely. At the rate this is going, I might have to like do one course in two parts, maybe from now on. Maybe not. But, uh, in any case, that was World Course 2 and Episode 2, and that was Course 1 and, uh, Episode 1, so maybe we'll get Course 3 and Episode 3. I mean, we'll do all of it, and we'll probably fail at some point, and then have to redo it, and then it'll be like 26 minutes at least. We're just about to hit 28. <laughs> so in the next episode, we'll do Course 3.